town, and it was the uh, old city court. And she said, uh, they're having a meeting, and I, I'm sure you, you'd be interested in it because I love history. So why don't you go to the meeting? So, so had you retired at this point? Or you no, were, no, no, yeah, no, yes, no, yes. no, I think we were still working. Well, wait a second. That We both retired in 91. Uh, How old is the museum? Uh, it was 90... We started 15 years ago on yeah. the museum. 98 years was when it was first chartered. Yeah, it was after you, after we retired. Uh, yeah. So I went to the meeting, and I offered my services uh, to other heads and brochures and anything I could do, a logo, and uh, came home that night and I said to Rhoda, you know, it's one thing for me to volunteer my services, but they're going to need grants. I think you should come to the next meeting. <laughs> and that's the way we both began, uh, became involved with the, uh, the And museum. we've been working on it for 16 years now. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the building and what was there before and uh, what condition it was in when you found it. Okay. First of all, I'd like to, to give credit where credit is due. I think Brian... Uh, and the original board uh, that, that Brian, started this, they, they had a... Brian Mercadani. I'm sorry. Uh, and there, 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 was a, there was a group of five people, and Brian is the only one that's still active. Well, there uh, were six to begin with. Six, yeah. and uh, Brian is still the one that, that is... And John McKay was one of John them. John McKay was one of the director former directors. Of the library here. I'm and, sure you're um, aware. <laughs> and the building... Uh, has a uh, you know you can go on forever about the building be, and and it's a, a labor of love. We came in to that building, and it had been sadly to well, say it had been abandoned and for, used as a Halloween uh, haunted well, house. You can imagine what they did to it by painting all kinds of. But but tell us a little bit about the background of the building. When was it built? Okay. What was it used for? Uh, it was uh, originally. The building was in the town of Oyster Bay, since there was no Glen, city of Glen Cove. And so it was a courthouse and a... I think a town hall for town the town hall of Oyster for the, Bay. For, yeah. for this area. And a police and jail holding, right? No, not a... Not a, police not, at that time. Not it was, But there was a jail. There was a jail. It was a courthouse It was a courthouse. The police jail. headquarters was established afterwards. Yeah. And actually what they did was they built a whole building within the building mm -hmm. uh, to, in order to accommodate the police headquarters. And uh, they, they destroyed the original uh, feeling of the building by making it just a, a hodgepodge of uh, uh, spaces. And what, uh, what took 16 years to, unravel, to, to bring back to its original state uh, which was required, we, we, we restored it to its original state, was pulling everything out. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it was our, our con I have to give co uh, uh, credit to our architect and our uh, contractor who put in more than was called for or, or were, they were being paid for. They did a magnificent job in restoring it. It, uh, it became it had been used at one point during the uh, Spanish flu epidemic in 1918 as a, an infirmary. And we have a paper which we had uh, stored at, at the uh, 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 library for so, some few years uh, showing uh, what was spent, the last report, 